All right, let's talk about fingering charts. So a fingering chart is this awesome tool that helps us know what keys on our flute we need to push down. So before I go any farther in the video, I want you to know my flute is not balancing on the table. I have a flute peg underneath here, so it is safe and secure. Please don't try to balance your flute standing up. Okay, a fingering chart looks something like this, okay? Um, this is one that I just made myself, but you're gonna find one printed in the back of your band book. And it shows what note it is, and then it shows what fingers on the flute to press down. So this can be a little tricky to read at first. So what I've done is I took one of those fingering charts and I blew it up super big so that we can go through it together. All right, so this is ginormous, but this is a huge version of what you're gonna see. And we're gonna go through key by key so that you know um, what to push down when you see different things. So let's start at the top of our flute, okay? This is where we put our fingers. Remember, we skip that first key, okay? And so to push this first key down, that is going to be this very first circle here on our fingering chart, okay? So anytime you see that circle filled in, okay, that means Okay, this means this key right here on the flute, okay? Then the second key, this circle right here, okay, is correlates to your second finger, which is your middle finger, okay? So remember, on flute, we still skip this key. Now, the fingering chart does not show the skipped key, so you need to know that this second circle right here means your second finger on the flute which is this one right here, okay? So when we have that one circled in, that's meaning the second finger, not the second key, okay? So to review, we have our first key, our first finger, I'm sorry, and our second finger, not the first key and the third key, the first finger and the second finger, okay? And then this circle right here, this goes with your third finger, okay? So we circle that one in. Okay, and that's this third key. And then you can see the pinky key, it's kind of shaped like a golf club and it looks exactly the same as it does on our fingering chart. So that is super convenient, okay? Because they're shaped the same. All right. So this is the first four, or these are the first keys on our left hand at the top of our flute. And then I'm gonna turn it around so you can see. Okay, remember we have our two thumb keys back here. Okay, this lower one is this one right here, and this upper one pushes both keys down. So you can see this one pushes one down, this pushes both down, okay? We're almost always gonna be using this lower key, all right? So this lower key matches up with this one right here. Okay, so now let's look at the bottom half of our flute. Okay, let's start at the very bottom. So remember our pinky key rests on this first key in this key cluster, okay? This very first one is the one we're gonna use the most and that correlates to this one right here, okay? So when you see that little teardrop symbol filled in on the bottom of your fingering chart, it means this one, okay? And then just like we would do, I should be using my other hand, okay? Because this is the right hand. So we have pinky, and then we go three, two, one, and that correlates exactly with these three keys. So it goes pinky, three, two, one. And I'm just gonna write that right in here so that it's easier for you to remember, okay? You can see I have Pinky, three, two, one, and that's my right hand, okay? You might be wondering what are all these other extra keys on here? Okay, on flute, those are these little keys here. These are our trill keys. Um, we only use those in special occasions. For most of our everyday playing, these keys right here that I've colored in or written in are the ones we're gonna use the most. So, as you are looking at your fingering chart that looks more like this, You'll see the note name, 
and then the keys that you need to press down. If you're ever feeling confused, because as you might have noticed, when we read a fingering chart, the flute is out to the side. Even though when we're holding the flute, we are looking at it straight up and down. So if you're ever feeling confused about, oh man, which key do I look at? I'm gonna switch to the bigger one. Okay, this is a sideways fingering chart, just like you're gonna see it. Just go ahead and turn that fingering chart so that now, when you hold your flute next to it, it looks the same, okay? I've got my first three keys, or my first, these correlate to my first three fingers, which is one, two, three, and then this, the pinky key here, and then down here, pinky, three, two, one as well, okay? So hopefully that helps.